<laughs> First of all, you know what is just a little adjustment with my tripod. Let's do that because uh okay. Hello, Kate. Hello, Angie. Boris, of course. Linda, one. Linda, two. <laughs> Tracy. Laurie, Jean. No. Moses. I don't see that one. Beth. Ramrose, Debbie, Amanda. Janet, hello everyone. So, first of all, you know, a little of our dry paintings, not our, mine. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and then we will do some mixing today. Uh, but first, let's start with the paintings. Uh, I will start with this one that I did next. Not next. Sorry, I'm a little <coughs> dizzy and confused today. Uh, last week, on my premiere, that I tried uh, to use the mixture for a bloom, and it dried off. See, I have problems with primary elements always. All thing went, I don't know. <laughs> yes, the swipe. And the beautiful colors just disappeared. That's why what is happening with primary elements with me all the time. I still don't know how to use them. I did one on the the wood to try and this one cracked. You see? I did maintain a little more colors. They stayed a little more on there but cracked. So probably primary elements will never work for me. I don't know. Uh, so the next one was probably this painting for a pride month uh, that I used rainbow colors. I lost a lot of my purple and there is a lot of green. So, but still, I don't know it was a kiss pour or what this was. I don't know. But it has some... <clears throat> this iridescent uh, blue in the purple so it's kind of interesting looking and i love this heart it was just you know by the accident but you know it's perfect for the rainbow month a heart so this is this one and this was the kiss pour with reds and gold on the cup bottom. And this Rex for a 3D flower. It's a lot of gold, you see. But I like it. I think that it's... I don't know, I like it. Um, and now to the products that Doris, sweet Doris sent me to try US products. Doris from my moderator, you know Doris ATDF designs and first one that I did was probably the flower and as you can see it changed quite a lot while drying but still maintain the, the shape and everything so 
it's okay. So it worked. The, the products that I will mix today. I will mix all things with you today. Uh, but maybe still need some adjustments. I don't know. I will definitely work on it. But hopefully you see that the lacing is here. It is different than with my pouring medium. And it dried more matte than with my pouring medium. Hello, Jeremy. Uh, but still, you can achieve beautiful flower with this mixture too, I think. Right. Mina, hello, I didn't see you. And I don't know, probably I did this one next with uh, the flip cup, just the flip cup without the silicone because I saw that this thing sells out like crazy. And this is the same colors as it was on the flower dip. I just flip it, you know, and lip it. <laughs> so this is the dry result. Nothing special, but and I, I I'm not crazy about those little little cells here. And I did just pearl white and black, you know, uh, to see. And you can see that it's kind of a pearl pour in the way. So this is the black <clears throat> and white one. Uh, and then I did just a dip, regular dip with this mixture. Uh, these paintings are all dry. Uh, I really, really love this flower. It's a perfect rosebud or something. I don't know. Uh, and the cells and the lacing, see, stayed. But it is different than with my pouring medium. I have an idea what I can do to maybe make this a little more similar to my pouring medium but i will talk about that when we will mix things and then do you see this guy here with an eye <laughs> uh the double dip uh, from yesterday just uh, a crazy amount of cells so obviously this um, mixture of flood flow troll and flood emulsa bond creates crazy amount of cells without of course any silicone of or anything so just pearl white i don't know uh, without pearl white probably not or a finishing paint or something and that's why I will mix this from scratch. So we will start with pouring medium, of course. Oh, and for the pouring medium, I will mix these two things. Flood flow troll and flood AB emulsa bond. Latex-based coating additive. Promotes exterior surface surface adhesion <laughs> improves penetration. Great. Um, so it is similar, probably, than that my emulsion that I use with the acrylic binder. But it's totally different when I look at it. I show it. Hello, Linda Rodriguez. I show. Um, uh, the difference in my first video that I made but I don't want to mix really a lot of it so I will add now oh, let's do it so 
I will talk in milliliters because I don't have ounces here. Just a second. No. There is no ounces. These are cups. No, I don't know in cups. So I will fix in milliliters. I will add. 80% of Floetrol and 20% of um, Emulsabon. So I will add eight, 80 milliliters. Oh, maybe, no, these are cups too, probably. One quart and one half. I don't, I will not bother with ounces. So I will add 80 milliliters of Floetrol and 20 milliliters of Emulsabon. So 80. I have to shake this first. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, so if you will do this in ounce, ounces, you will have to calculate this. 80% to 20%. Floetrol to emulsabond. So. Floetrol is so different than Ovatrol that we have in Europe. Totally different. Okay, this should be it. So this was Floetrol. And now to the Emulsa Bond. Uh, it is, it looks kind of yellow, but it dries clear. more okay okay and of course i strained both of them and dory sent me a strainer too <laughs> she she thought of everything you have to put this into the water otherwise it will not be usable anymore okay and now I will mix this, and this will be our pouring medium. Yes, it does look a little yellow, brownish, yellowish. I don't know which color. Flesh tint, Naples yellow, light hue. I don't know. Uh, but it dries clear, as you saw on, on my dry paintings because white looks white so definitely dries clear so have to mix this really really bad uh, and it has a little smell so if you are sensitive i don't know this emulsa bond has a little smell my uh, emulsion doesn't have any smell but this one has Oh, it's banned in some states. I don't know. Uh, you know, the, the things that I'm using are good for Europe, but when um, I spoke with uh, Massey boys and uh, they said that you can't use this hydrosol emulsion that I use in states neither, so I don't know. But we use this emulsion all the time and we have them have it on our walls and it's not i don't know a problem so this is my pouring medium now and first i hope that i mix it enough first let's do our pearl white no i will use So for the pearl white, I normally use Vallejo pearl medium, but because I know that it's hard to get in, in States, I will mix this Mod Podge pearl too, because I did use that in uh, with my pouring medium. I don't know how it will work with this pouring medium, but let's try this one too. 
just in case. So I will mix two pearl white, pearl whites. And I normally don't measure, today I will. <laughs> so here I can use ounces, just a second ounce. Zero, and I will add an ounce of Vallejo Pearl Medium first. And I flip. And Amsterdam titanium white. One ounce of that. So this will be two ounces in total. Whoop. Okay, almost. And I will do the Mod Podge Pearl, the same. One ounce of Mod Podge. I didn't, and this this one smells really bad too. I didn't zero this, so I will now. But I can blend this here, and one part. So one ounce of my titanium white. Okay, and I have to mark because otherwise I will not know which one is which one. So let's write Vallejo, Vallejo, and Mod Podge. But we will know how they will look, and then I mix this ingredients just a little bit together first and I have two ounces I have a little more now because it's a uh, stick in there you see it's two ounces so I need four ounces of pouring medium so one part paint to two parts pouring medium so I have two ounces and now I will add four ounces to that and then we will go from there and I hope that I have my cup big enough I have so now it's six ounces in total and this should be just the right consistency uh, you know if when you use different brands, different viscosity of paints, heavy body, other paints, you mix them differently. Normally, when I use Amsterdam, Windsor and Newton uh, paints, Liquitex probably, uh, the ratio is two to one. But for extreme sheen paints, uh, the ratio is one to one. Okay, this should be it. See? It leaves just a little mound on a mound. See? This should be the right consistency. One pearl white done. <clears throat> and now I will mix the Mod Podge one. Because it's I don't know if you can't get the Vallejo Pearl Medium, maybe you can get this one. So again, I have two ounces and I will add four ounces of pouring medium into that. A little more should be okay. Hopefully, because may, I think that this Mod Podge Pearl is a little thinner than Vallejo one. Hopefully it will not be too thin. I will not use all, both of them in, in one pour because I will do a pour at the end, of course, that we will see if it works or not. But 
I will do just a little coaster with this one. So this will be a little different video today, you know, will be more like a, a mixing tutorial than something else. Okay. Bye, Mina. Have fun today on your celebrating bar mitzvah and for the base. I still have some of the artist loft white that um, my dear friend Mel sent it to me. So I will use this one for a base. So let's add, let's do two ounces of this one. And it is a little thinner probably than than my Amsterdam, so, okay, two ounces, so it will be all the products that you can buy, mostly, you know, I'm not sure about, I know that Doris knows where to buy Vallejo Pearl Medium, but sometimes it's out of stock, so I have two ounces, so I will add four ounces of that, so total will be six. Okay, a little more should be okay. I hope that it will not be too thin. Maybe I should start with a little less than two parts, just in case, because I did not use, use that um, artist loft white for this so I don't know but what I feel I think that it should be okay yes maybe even a little thick for the base but we will thin them down later so for the colors and I will use one of the extreme sheen paints so this one is bronze extreme sheen bronze and this one I will mix one to one and I never I didn't try to use it before so we will see well and my scale went down point seven point eight point nine one ounce and here I will add just one ounce, so one to one ratio, because I normally mix this extreme sheen paints one to one for my flower dips. We will see. Maybe extreme sheen paints with this um, pouring medium will not work well, but. I have big cups because uh, sometimes I add too much paint and then I can't add water to consistency. That's why I, this is just the right consistency. See, it leaves the mount, kind of disappears and leaves a little trace. This is this one. And I will use Amsterdam greenish blue. I, I'm trying to be quick, but let's add one ounce of that. Okay, almost. And now two ounces of pouring medium, so three in total. I mix all the colors except extreme sheen two to one ratio and then I add water if I need it. So this is my base for, you know, mixing two to one ratio, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And it should be 
quite okay with most of your paints. Okay, this one done. And then I have manganese blue. I will just do some blues and this um, kind of um, brownish colors. Is this very? Yes, it is. Again, one ounce paint, two ounce. Maybe it's boring for somebody, but I just wanted to mix all the paints in front of you so that we can, you know, do a pour next and see what is working, what is not. And maybe if it will not work, we can add some varnishes because I know that polyurethane satin varnish creates some lacing Vallejo one that I used so see this one is a little thicker than other ones so here I will have to add a little water that's why you can do total precise measurements you know you have an orientation two to one but then you will have to adjust this with the I normally use water. Some people use uh, different things, but I just use water for uh, for this. Still a little thicker because the colors are not the paints are not all the same. Even they are the same brand, you know. It doesn't mean that you 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 can use just one ratio to all the colors because they are different different viscosity okay now it's good so i i can't tell you how much water i added you saw just a splash of water and then i have uh burnt sienna so let's do one ounce of this okay And add two ounces of pouring medium. It will be three in total. Almost there. Okay. Mix. Uh, I'm really happy that I can, you know, experiment with the, those US products because I know that it was a little hard because you can't you didn't manage to get the, the same results with and I didn't know which American products should be okay for this because I didn't try them so that's why I'm really grateful to Doris that send me this and that I can try that for you and if you appreciate that you maybe can show her some love with sub subscribing to her to her channel too because she is a sweet lady and she likes to experiment too still a little thick so you see just adding water a little bit at the time and mix because it's easier to add water than add paint when you mix that so that's where this two to one ratio comes great and then adjust with water. Okay. And the last one will be this Febeo iridescent green blue. And this will be my color palette for today. For a flower. Oop. Almost empty. Okay, let's do 0.7 and I will add, no, I have 0.8, so I will add 1.6 ounce of pouring medium. Go to, no, 
1.6 okay a little more doesn't matter uh, and these pebeo paints are a little thicker those iridescent not all of them iridescent precious gold is thinner than other ones than my amsterdam ones for example but this greenish blue 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 green green yellow iridescent paints they are all thick so you see how thick this mixture is before and now i will just add water i don't add pouring medium when i try to match the consistency you can never match them perfectly you know but as close as you can and if you will maybe with heavy body paints you can mix them one to three one part paint to three parts but uh, i try to mix one heavy body paint vallejo heavy body paint one day with this pouring medium and they didn't work quite okay so maybe i should thin it down just a little bit with water and then add pouring medium thank you so much dark lights just a little more water and i do the same always for every techniques i normally use two to one ratio mixing ratio and then adding water to the consistency this is my way to mix my paints most in most of the for most of the techniques uh but of course i I'm more familiar with my pouring medium. Just a little. Okay. This should be okay. So. Whew. Hope that I wasn't too long. I tried to be <coughs> as fast as I could. Raiko asked if I will pour two or just mix. You normally, you are normally not, not, don't, not here, Raiko, when I do that. So. But I was quick. Normally when I'm alone, I, I try to enjoy, because I really enjoy in mixing paint. So it's nothing, uh, you know, that I, I would hate about it or something. So. I just have to grab my canvas and everything just and probably I will have to thin down this a little bit just a second my powder white is a little thick I think yes both of powder whites are thicker than my other ones or the ooh the smell of this uh, mod podge one is just this one is okay but Vallejo one needs a little a little water and then I will do a test first before I will use a canvas and I will show you how I do the test in just a minute still a little thick i have to say thick not thin and um you know when you mix this pearl white if you don't get enough lacing enough cells you just add a little pearl white uh, pearl medium to the mixture if you have too much lacing and cells for your taste you just add a little white so you can adjust it i will just grab this little thing here coaster 
and I have to look at my base. Uh, I have my base coat, whatever color you will use, a little thinner, not a lot thinner, not like for a flow extender that it's totally, you know, a lot more, a lot thinner than other paint, just a little thinner, so just a little more white, but I'm a little afraid because I'm using <laughs> uh, artist loft today, so I don't know, normally when I use white for my base, I use uh, Amsterdam white, so let's see what will happen. Okay, so you see, it doesn't... Good morning to New Zealand! It's early morning probably in New Zealand, or... Okay. So I will just put a little of my base up. On this, I just have to grab a cup to put on or something. Okay, stay. And I will just do some, I will just blow a little bit over or something. So I will grab this. Pearl white, Vallejo. This is Vallejo one. And add a little of this here. And let's grab, I don't know, this greenish blue. Did I check this one for the consistency? Okay, it should be okay. And I will just blow right down. Maybe I can do it with a straw that you will see. I'm not going for a flower or something, but just checking if this works. So, this was Vallejo. Hmm. Let's just do... And this is Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I will just add this Mod Podge without the base doesn't matter just to see if because here it's the opposite like with the blooms you know with the blooms you have cell activator on top and here you have your pearl white or something on the bottom and blow other colors on top so obviously works with mod potch too so maybe I can use, uh, so do you want me to use uh, Mod Podge or Vallejo? What is the, the product that you, you think that you, you can buy? Vallejo or Mod Podge? Mod Podge. I think that you can buy this Mod Podge. I hope that you all saw how it looks it's not glue you see it's a pearl mod podge pearl you see so let's do mod podge because most of you and the the this one um ah, copper no it, it wasn't copper it was bronze extreme sheen should create lacing too so maybe we can try if this one works too but before i will use mod pot you see the difference <coughs> vallejo lacing and the mod pot effects you see it is a little different a lot more lacing 
with Vallejo than with Mod Podge. So hopefully it will work. Now it's all mixed together, but a little, little lacing. So I don't know. Maybe I should thin this down just a touch. This extreme sheen bronze. Just a little bit. So you want... Uh, Reverse flower deep, cup bottom reverse flower deep, or probably this is the thing that it's most wanted, like most wanted. <laughs> I think of Western <coughs> movies when you saw, you know, this sign, most wanted. So I will just grab, ooh, maybe I'm too... How should I go? Oh. And now I went too much, but okay. You will see my beautiful. Okay. So it's still, you see, developing, but the cells with Mod Podge are a lot smaller than with Vallejo. We will see. I did uh, one with, with Vallejo already, so let's see what Mod Podge will do. So I have this 10 by 10 inch canvas. I'm a little unorganized because normally I don't have all these flow trolls and pouring mediums on my table when I pour. So I will just move this a little bit to have more space. Okay. This is done, so let's put this this fill stick still. Doris, I will have to, to take base coat maybe too today. Doris had live today and she she said that I, I'm yelling at her all the time. That she has to thin down her base and now I will maybe do the same mistake. I will just pour the excess paint, try to pour the excess paint into back into the cup. And this is a messy part, so I normally do this off camera when I do videos. Just, you know, it's easier to do this off camera. But I like to add more paint to the, the canvas and then tilt it because I want to have nice smooth coat of the base that paint will flow off the cup on the canvas in nice shape and I almost throw my tripod I forgot to use my gloves again Okay. And when you do that, you now you just grab your pellet knife and you save all the the excess paint. So okay. So this is done. And flower-shaped cups, you know about those cups. I don't know, maybe Doris have some to sell, to sell if somebody wants to buy them. I don't know, 
but uh, you can buy those 3d printed ones they are okay too but i kind of still prefer my my old good ones and i will torch a little bit for the air bubbles and grab uh, something to find kind of a middle just kind of you know okay kind of and put my cup on and now because i have white background i think that i will have to figure out my order i will start with this extreme sheen bronze and then this one and that i will just a second i will just grab my mod podge thing and then mod podge and probably this too okay no i have this one too just a second okay uh, because if i would start with pearl white you know it will not probably be okay if i would have um, black background or other colors background i will start with pearl white but because i have white i will just pour a little of this bronze not a lot not too much just like that and uh, I will pour this greenish blue and when it will hit the canvas I will stop and for the pearl white I will pour it and stop now when it starts falling over you know and then burn sienna Again, when it hits canvas, stop. And pearl white again. And the bio iridescent blue green. And it's so different than my pouring medium. Even the paint doesn't flow off the uh, uh, from the cup the same. And I will add pearl white again. And then manganese. And let's do another layer with extreme sheen. Bronze. I had way too much of this. We will see what will happen. It just flows off. So I have to just match my petals a little bit hopefully this will not be game breaker or what can how can i say that and greenish blue and mod podge i don't see a lot of reaction right now so hopefully it will work at all and burnt sienna All white again. And greenish blue. I love this Fabio iridescent paints. Again, I did it again. Just the consistency feels totally different than with my pouring medium. So It's easier for you two if you can, you know, put them in the squeeze bottles, but I will not do that today. Okay. Let's blow this a little bit. And oh, I see some some cells developing on the cup already, and I will 
grab a skewer while this is happening and then I will turn it around you know and draw some petals and then we will do another layer you see some cells are starting to create so hopefully it will create some nice lacing at the end so let's why I, I lift this up so high I probably didn't do this job neither good good neither so just a little bit of extreme chin and greenish blue pearl white I'm a little clumsy today normally I do this more carefully but really flows from the cup totally different white if I will use this pouring medium more often I will get used to it but you know probably know how this is with pouring mediums that you don't use a lot for white and manganese and we are done and then I will grab a paper napkin but before I I can I have to do an inner petal too, so not the napkin. Just a second, I just got some paint in my mouth. I have paint on my straw. And I just put it into my in my mouth. <clears throat> okay, I I I know that uh, it happens to you sometimes too. So, uh, it's not tasty, but phew. okay. Let's do. this part okay last one and I will grab this blue a little bit try to go over this white here because it's just a lot of white here in the middle I just tap my finger and drag and up and down drag it on top of the white and down in the middle not drag through the paint you know like you would do a ninja swipe or something Oop. this one wasn't so good, but okay, it should do. Okay, now I will spray my napkin with uh, a little bit of water just to soften it down. You can use uh, a dry paper napkin or you can use a plastic wrap. Uh, maybe I will do an experiment with plastic wrap to these days because Dori sent me a plastic wrap, wrap that it's a little different than ours so maybe I will try that one but I prefer napkins just because of air pockets underneath because it's easier to get your air under you know if you have some air under your napkin it's much easier to get it out uh, like if you would have um, um, a 
plastic wrap because with the plastic wrap you know and if you have an air pocket underneath your wrap will not take ta um, not take touch touch the the paint and it will not create the patterns that you want so just gentle touch all the way deep breath always scary part so let's slow lift this up and see what will happen Hmm. More cells than lacing with the Mod Podge. Let's torch this. I will just try to show you up close. See? Totally different. So yes you can use mod podge but there is no lacing like with the um, with the baleo there are more cells than lacing so what we can do it's i i kind of like this um, shape but i think that maybe if we spin it we will get more out just a little spin but i'm afraid that i will spin too much i just have to add some paint on this side because i see that there is more paint on that side and if you have more paint on one side you know your flower will flow more to one side so you have to have quite similar amount i will say of this background because you see here i have quite a lot still need a little more here otherwise it will flow just on towards one side where where will be more paint because of the gravity of course it's not a big science but cells keep on coming you see they're just more cells like lacing i miss a little of my lacing effect with this mod podge thing so just a baby spin nothing much is changing you know it's still just cells so not bad don't get me wrong but different than with Vallejo for a medium definitely you can use this one but it will be different result how's the roaster 
He's sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, you know, because even whoop, on the, those coasters, you see, it is different. Vallejo, Mod Podge. Vallejo, Mod Podge. So you see, it is different. So I still have these paints, but um, uh, mixed left that I mixed today. So probably uh, I will do one with Vallejo tomorrow. You know, there is much more cells with uh, Mod Podge. And I will do one with Vallejo tomorrow and we will have a comparison, you know, we will see the difference because definitely this is not um, the same. Maybe I can do just, I don't know how, let's make some space. How can I show you? use just this little coaster and I will do just one quick puddle pour with Vallejo and because um, I don't know I'm a little confused now uh, if maybe this um, um, artist love white makes some difference so I will just do some puddles and do a little little reverse dip you know on this with Vallejo and we will see what will happen how it will look I have a little too much paint probably okay this is just a little oop, four by four uh, kind of canvas board so I have to grab my Vallejo, it is Vallejo. Yes, it is. See, Vallejo. So let's do just one. This will be too much. Two, three, four, five little puddles. with the same colors and the same order. Uh, I should use smaller sticks for these two, but just try to, to, to show you today a few things with this, because it's that kind of with a more of an experiment. So Vallejo White. Maybe I will not add all the colors because I just want to do a quick comparison that we can decide which effects are nicer. I will definitely stay stick with my pouring medium and Vallejo pour medium, but just to maybe show you that you can try some flowers too. It's so hard because it's so little. <laughs> Let's do just manganese here. Without the pebble, it's 
I will just grab my paper towel this time because it's big enough for this. Spray it. Spray, spritz, I don't know what is the right word. Dump it with water a little bit. Put it down. And I have a lot of air underneath. Tap this just that we will see if there will be a difference in the effect, you know. This is so small, I don't even know if I can leave this the way that it will look like a flower anyway. I I did those before, but Probably it's too much paint on the surface, too much white. So I didn't get a lot out of it, but similar, but you see how this pearl white grows. It is a little different, but not much. But you see here, this white in the middle. Um, I had just way too much paint. And I think because of this edge here, that uh, artist loved white is different than, than um, Amsterdam too. Because I will just wash my hands just really quick and try to tell you why. Because here I used black, Amsterdam black. And you see, I did got more of this lacing effect. So what I'm thinking that maybe artist love white is not the best idea for the base neither. I don't know. Maybe Doris knows more because she used those, you know, paints. But I don't see a lot of difference here. Weird. So I will take you down that I can show you the close up. Ooh. Or this one. Just a second. This will be better, probably. So this is the one with Mod Podge. I think that maybe, maybe, because when I did the, the, the one on the round ones with Vallejo Pearl Medium, I didn't measure. And maybe I even did, I don't know. Uh, that my paints were a little thinner than today because I think that they poured a little differently. But I think that if you can't grab products that I use or whatever, I think that you can definitely use these products with Mod Podge because um, it works. It's different, but you see, you still get these things. And the little one here, you see there is the pearl white, most of it. And because I just add too, too, too much paint, probably. House, white house paint. I don't know about house paint because, you know, our house paint cracked. So, just can't. So, 
I hope that this helped you uh, and that you will be able to create your own flowers now uh, with this. I will experiment a little more because I'll, I, as I said, I know if I add this, where, where are you? Where I have it. I know that if I would add a little of this polyurethane satin varnish into the pearl white, it will, would sell more. So probably you can use any polyurethane satin varnish. Just has to be polyurethane, not just satin varnish. And add it a little bit. I maybe we I can do that tomorrow because you see I still have those paints left from today. Enough for another reverse flower dip, and I will add this uh, to the pearl white tomorrow on my regular video that I will publish tomorrow. Uh, I will paint in the morning, of course, and then. Um, I will add this and we will see and we will have a comparison to this one, you know, how it will be. It will be different or not, if we will get more lacing or not. So probably, jo I know that Josonia has uh, polyurethane varnishes, so probably you can get some polyurethane uh, varnish in states too. So we will see. So thank you all for coming. Hopefully you are happy that uh, <laughs> you can create something uh, from the products that you can buy in States. And I will definitely, I have enough flow troll and this emulsa bond. So I will, I promise that I will play with it and try to get this, the, as much as close to my uh, product that I can, my pouring medium that I can, but more at, more as I look at the, into this flower, I more I like it. I don't know. I like these effects too. They are different, but I like them too. So thank you again for coming and see you on the next one. Bye.